Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Well, it's 12.17 my time. Sun ain't been up very long in California, but you can see the way the shadows are going. But I want you to pay close attention to the part of the spillway that's still left at the top right there. It has a bunch of holes drilled in it again. So it looks as if they're getting ready to blast some more. Now the last several blasts that we've had haven't come across. Uh, we haven't got any updates on that. We've only gotten one update in the last mm, little over a week now. And we've only gotten one and it was only a flyover of the drone. Which that's fine, but at least show us the, you know, a little more of the construction. If you're going to do a flyover, give us some more information. You know, show some more areas. You're not quite showing enough depth on the, the areas just at the spillway. You're not showing us the, the area of where they're making the concrete. You know, you're not showing the blast anymore. You know, it's a little strange that we're not getting that. But anyway, beyond that point, you can see a lot of changes. Yesterday, I made a video that was eight hours long. And for some reason, I can't get it to make, so I ended up deleting it. I can't record it that way no more because it just it just don't work but you can see up here at the top where all the holes has been drilled up in this area up here see it up there where all the holes are and they're working on doing some blasting now they did some blasting in here and they did some blasting in here and you can see that they're trying to flatten that out because it was all humped up before. And you know, it went up a little higher than this. They're trying to get that knocked down. I think they're trying to literally, what it's looking like so far is they're going to make stairways so it slows the water down, slows the speed down. It might speed for a second, but when it hits the bottom, it, it kind of like puts the brakes on. And they have really scraped this area, for whatever reason, fairly decently clean. And over here on the side, you can see that they've got a road up here going across. And they got a road now, starting a road here, coming along the bank. Still a little humpy and choppy, but you can see the bulldozer right now pushing dirt in the hole. You know, pushing it over. They may make it all flat before it's over with. But we don't have no new photos for today. And as this present time, we have no new drone flyover or no blast either. Which is, you know, it's getting a little silly that they're not giving it to us like they should or like they were. <clears throat> Maybe they're trying to get the attention off of them. I don't know but right up here as y'all can see it looks like they've built a they've dug a hole actually that's what it looks like they've got walls all around it I don't know what they're going to use there or do there at the present probably going to use it for a I don't really know I ain't got a clue I ain't going to speculate what, on the, what I think it might be I was probably wrong but as you see, there's a wall here, a wall here. I moved too quick. There's several walls, how they're banking this up, making roads going into the spillway, and they're kind of doing it in stairways. That's what makes me think that they're going to make the, down, the, the spillway itself a stairway starting at the heel of the, the very sharp drop where the curve is in the, the, the spillway. 
I think they're going to make the bottom end stair tr stair off, you know, kind of grad gradually drop it off in little stairways. That's what it's looking like. But we got a long way to go before they even get close to laying concrete in that area. So there you go. And here's that that crater that they've dug out. It ain't got no water in it, but they sure are digging a crater. I, I, I mean, it's got a road all the way around it. You can see it. But that's weird. It runs into that road and goes up by the spillway. Kind of weird. Don't know why, but it's there. Now let's go check our frequencies. I did something a little different this time. Um, if y'all pay attention to this area right here, where the clock's changing, you see that this started at about 2 a.m. and it goes to 5, okay? And I need to change the color of this. Now over here, I'm going to show y'all some things on this particular one. I'm going to count them out first. There's one. Here's one. There's one here. Made the circles a little bigger. One here and one there. There's two there. There's one right there. There is a great big one right here. One coming out from over here, and one here, here, and that looks like one coming out of here as well. So basically we got three, but right here this was pretty large. Now when I change maps, I did this. This, this date's going to change up here. Alright, right here. This is going to change where the big circle is. <clears throat> when we go to the next map, it's going to go from some a different number to a higher time. And... Now, it's going from 7 or 5 a.m. to where it's at now. When I refresh this periodically through the day, I can save it by keeping it up. And that's what I'm doing. I kept it up. So you can see the change in the days. Or the time in the days of what happens. These are still here. This one's still here. This one's still here. We got a new one, which is right here. Now let's go ahead and put the new one in. Here's a new one here. And a new one here. Here. And one coming out of here. So we got three new ones. And the other ones are still there. And as you see, this one has gained a little bit. So now let's go to the present time one, which is happening as we speak. And that is this one. As you see, it goes from 7 to almost 12 I'm gonna do something okay I changed it so it goes all the way to 11 so I do refresh the page and this one is still here which is got some anomalies in it and most of the other ones are still there they're just not showing up quite as much but they are still there Especially the ones over here. But now you got a, a, 
Mm, from what time was it? From 2 a.m. to 11.21. And it's a central time. So my time is uh, 11, uh, I mean 12.21. So there you go. I'm an hour different. But that's what you see right here. Okay, everybody. I figured we'd come over to the snowpack since we ain't been here in a few days. And just to let you know that, as you can see, that one has dropped. This one has dropped. This one has dropped. And this one. They're all in single digits now. Y'all notice that? That means that all of the fear mongering that was told that the snow was going to come and melt and the dam was going to break, uh, guess what? It didn't break. It still stands. So remember that when you watch those particular people that's telling you bullshit. Okay? That's called fake news. Whether you know it or not, that's what it is. Now, I didn't, I'm not meaning it as a disrespect to them, but hey, concern is one thing, but reporting something that you have no business reporting because you don't know and you just think you do. Like fake sinkholes and leaks on the side of the building because there's mold growing on a hill at an angle, which is a dam, growing at an, it's, it's built like a pyramid and it's collecting dirt and collecting, got grass growing and mold growing. Uh, when you're around a lot of water, mold's going to grow. Sorry, I, that's just the way it is. Okay. I showed y'all a tree that had mold growing in it. It grows four or five inches tall. We just got some rain. The next time I go over there, I'm going to record it and show you the difference between that video and the new video. Just so you can see how green that black mold turns. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, I guess I didn't turn it off. But, hey. Sorry, you got to see all kind of craziness. But anyway, <coughs> it's at 812 feet, 0.47 on the height of the water, which we are got plenty of room to shut off. The inflow was 43.18. The outflow was 43.87. There's still more going out than coming in. They got it turned down a little bit, which is okay. They're trying to save water. I don't blame them. They've had droughts over there for years now, and they got a good rain. I'd keep as much water as I possibly could, let all the rest of it dry out now a while. Don't you think? That'd be the best policy. And, of course... Here's the last four videos that's come out. And if you can see, that was three days ago. That was a week, a week, and that's two weeks. And there for a while, we were getting two and three videos of the blasting. Sometimes two, sometimes three a day. But for whatever reason, they stopped. And this is the photos that I showed y'all yesterday. And as you see, this is the last one. And, of course, they ain't put up anything new as of yet. So, that's what we got and where we're at today. 
But as y'all can tell, that we have definitely moved along a lot. You can see where they were drilling yesterday. They have got all of this drilled now. I don't know if they put anything in there. But I do know that this was taken on the 16th, which is two days ago, and they did do some blasting. I actually caught a couple of blasts on uh, the backup a couple of times, but you don't, you're not sitting there. I could, I wasn't, didn't wasn't sitting there at the time that it actually happened to be able to report on it. I got there when the smoke started, but. You can't sit here and watch it all the time. I just caught two of them. But anyway, if y'all do like my stuff, um, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the gearbox. Hit the check mark in it. And you'll make the video or the bell look similar to this right here. And I, you should be getting my feed. If you don't get my feed... That's the powers to be. We talked about that yesterday in yesterday's video. So with that from my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it. Abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day now you here. Hello everybody. How are y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. This is why I do what I do. Because our land has been stolen and taken from us. Everyone has pledged this saying, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are not a democracy, folks. We are a republic. Straight up, no ifs, no ands, no buts. We're a republic. And if you believe that we are a democracy, this is why you have become a slave with all of your personal property and everything else that does not belong to you. From my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it. Abolish corporate government for you, friends. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day now. You here?